Awesome guys, back another video. So look, we all know I've set a target of 50k by January 2020. I still believe we're gonna completely smash this target. All we need to do is subscribe right away. As I always do my channel, I do shout outs. So literally all you need to do to be in the chance if you want to get shouted out is being active on the channel, whether that be liking, comment, subscribing, all the different videos. And today shout out to someone called Tired yet, thank you so much for the channel, much to appreciate it. So the Ace family, they're known for quite a few of their past controversies. A few examples would be the basketball scandal that happened around five, six months ago, as well as the massive, completely viral blow up one of the whole lollipop video. And it's safe to say the Ace family is not as perfect as they make out. The most recent controversy surrounding the whole Ace family's name is to do with Austin McBroom with another cheating scandal to do with Catherine, where he apparently got with another girl in Miami. This all started off when a girl on Twitter called Bella, she tweeted out, I tried to turn a blind eye to the situation, but as a mother and wife, I couldn't. You deserve to know I'm so flipping fuming for you and your family. I need you to see this. If I were in your position, I would want someone to tell me. Now, I've seen a lot of people reply to her on Twitter saying, oh, you're a clout chaser, provide the proof. And I'm not gonna lie, from the tweet alone, she seems sincere, her herself, she's a mother and she has children herself. Why the hell would she feel the need to suddenly boost her followers a bit? Therefore, that's the reason I feel like she's telling the truth because a lot of people that would want to clout chase, they're trying to go for the followers. In the exact same tweet, Bella, she texted a clear Instagram DM where she sent to Catherine, which reads, hey girl, the odds you read this are slim to none. I wanted to let you know because you deserve to know as a mother and a woman. Last weekend, Austin was with some friends of mine in my army. He slept with one of them and made her sign an NDA. I didn't think it was fair at all for this to happen while you're at home with your babies waiting on him. I'm disappointed as I've been a fan since your first apartment since Ali wasn't even at your ballet yet. I hope you see this. I'm not messaging you for clout or to start any drama. I just couldn't scroll past your pictures and not say anything. And I think, to be honest, if she's trying to place child, why the hell she bring up this wave? Like, literally, all she gained is a few followers. It seems a bit weird to me. And an NDA, for those that don't know, essentially, it's a form saying you cannot talk about anything that happened. So when he slept with a girl, she can't say anything. And if she does, he can actually sue her. Catherine ended up seeing this tweet herself, and she replied to this tweet, which is unlike the Ace family. Usually, with most of the controversies, they let it be, let the time die down. But she responded by saying, OMG, LaMeo, post your proof that people want to see. How about you post what you've got and if someone tries to sue you, I'll pay for it, deal. I swear people believe everything they read. Now, this isn't actually the first time Austin's been accused of cheating on Catherine. Back in 2018 of Coachella, there was also many accusations and rumours for that. There was one reply to Catherine's tweet in particular I thought I'd read out as it was quite popular with all the fans. One person stated, I feel like Catherine asked Austin to see if it was true, and he denied it, so Catherine is responding back to her to see if she has actual proof, and if this girl does, Catherine is going to lose her marbles. Me, personally, I think it's really hard to come to like, a clear decision and conclusion from this situation as Austin McBroom, he's going to flip it over his head, pretend it didn't even happen, try and let the controversy die down, let everyone die down and move on from it, as they always do with the whole situation, especially the big lollipop one. They didn't even talk about that in the slightest, trying to keep their image squeaky clean, when in reality, they should address it. Going back to this whole Coachella 2018 situation, essentially the yearly festival that is Coachella, most Instagrammers, YouTubers, celebrities, they go to it. Austin McBroom was one of these. He went by himself with a couple of mates. Catherine and the kids, they stayed at home, and apparently he was seen cheating with these few girls. He went back to the hotel room, smashed them a bit. There was these messages that came out, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I know the truth, because at the end of the day, none of them addressed anything to do with the whole situation. Also, in 2018 Coachella, Alyssa Violet was seen there, and on her Snapchat, you can clearly see Austin McBroom in the back of the Uber completely smashed out of his head, even though he claims he doesn't drink. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you believe Austin McBroom did cheat on his wife, Catherine, now and in 2018, or do you believe there's not enough proof in the pudding at all? Let me know. I just wanted to let you guys know now, before I go away, that there's gonna be no videos for an entire week. I know out there, there's millions of views demanding uploads literally every single day. I'm declaring it now for the next week, no videos whatsoever. So just go watch all my old ones because I'll be away in the sun getting a nice tan. Well, that's the end of the video and I've checked my watch and for some weird reason, the video's not here 10 minutes yet. So I think your computer's got a virus.